Hey everyone, today I'm here to do my Project Pan update, and I know I just did one at the beginning of the month, but that was because it was supposed to be at the end of the other last month before that, so it was supposed to be June, but I picked that up in the beginning of July, so now I'm just trying to get back on my regular schedule, so I'm uploading this at the end of the month, um, just because literally that is when I upload them. So I'm just going to get started. I finished up one item, and this is the Victoria's Secret Dazzling Kiss with Diamond Dust Perfume. Um, it was just a body splash. I have a little bit more, um, like, at the bottom, but it's not enough to, like, get squirted out, so I'm probably just going to try to, like, shake it out of my hands or something. Thing, but I'm just gonna say this is completely done because it is like there's nothing nothing really so when I started I was to right there at that very top line and then that is how much I have left now none which makes me feel really happy inside place that product I'm going to be using the warm vanilla sugar this is a body lotion from Bath and Body Works it's a huge one so this is gonna take me a while people a while but I'm going to draw a line when this settles because right now it's just been shooken up so I shook it up some more now so it's gonna take a little while to everything to get settled down and then I will insert the picture of what it looks like Um, an item I used maybe a couple times but not a lot. This is the e.l.f. Daily Brush Cleanser. I really didn't make any progress on this so there will be no progress pictures of this one. I only used it like twice and it wasn't enough to even kind of move away from the line from last time. So it's still about a half a container right now. Maybe a little bit more than half a container. But I'm still trying to make progress on this so slowly but surely I am using it. In fact, I actually just got done using this with one of my makeup brushes, so ooh, I am trying to use it. <laughs> the next thing is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula. This is a body skin for stretch marks. It's a body milk for stretch marks. And I actually have used this quite amount of times this month, probably seven to eight times I have used this. Um, and I spray it all over, like I lather this baby on, so it will be used up in I say a month or two. Um, definitely by... December this will be used up. I even say like three months before December. I'm kind of shooting high here But I definitely say there's only half a bottle I don't think this is full at all because I have used this so many times and when I use it I literally spray it from head to toe and I'm talking about head to toe ladies and gentlemen the next thing is my Cocoa Butters formula. This is the Even Tone Perfecting Cream. I have used this a lot this month. Now the dip is so huge in this that I'm almost literally I could fill the end of the container so half of this on the half like this side up here has a lot this down here does not and I'm gonna see if you guys can see oh definitely you guys can see all the progress right there how much is being made I have used this quite a amount of times and it makes me super happy because you guys know I have a love-hate relationship with this product and it's more hate right now so I just want it gone have the CoverGirl Queen Collection Jumbo Gloss Balm and this is called this shade is called Mulberry Moss when I very first started I was too right here and I will insert a picture of where I am now with the progress this is just one thing I honestly don't like using out of every single item I have used um this has been like the least amount of product made on this one just because I don't like the shade it's like a nice kind of glossy kind of old lady color I feel like I have it on today um when I zoom in if I did zoom in you guys would see how it's just not a cute shade um and it's just not I just don't feel like it works with me very well so hopefully it could just be done very soon because I'm kind of over it. I have my e.l.f. blush in Pink Passion. This is going to be so hard to use up. I finally just came to a conclusion on that but I feel like I can see a little bit of dip because I know last month I said oh there is a little bit of dip which there is and I'm wearing this blush today. Um, it's just really hard to use up because you can only use uh, about two times like you can only dab your brush two times in here because it's such a pigmented shade and then pin it on so each cheek. This is how bright this blush is. Do you guys see that? That is crazy. And the shade that is coming up on camera is the true shade. So let me like swatch it for you guys. It is a hot pink, almost purpley shade. Definitely hard to use up, but I'm trying. The next thing is the Wet n Wild Eyeshadow in Gold Digger. I use this every single day. Um, this has been one of my looks I use every single day. This and the Elf Healthy Glow Bronzing Powder in Sunkissed. I mix these two together as my lid shade and it's so beautiful. You guys should ask like for like a tutorial or something on it because I'd be so happy to do it because 
it is actually such a beautiful easy look that I use all the items in my project pan um because I'm doing a five ball fall and I have a eyeshadow in there and then I use the Maybelline color tattoo in these two um like for my lid shades and it's such a beautiful easy look to do and I'm kind of getting the hang of it so it literally takes me two seconds now to do but these are the two lid shades I have been using this is the progress I have made if you guys can see right in the middle it's starting to kind of get that faded away look which means you can't really see the lines that are originally on this because they always put like a pattern on top of it and the pattern is starting to go away in the middle which means I'm making progress on it and then this one the healthy glow bronzing powder um in the beginning you guys can see the word elf right here and you guys cannot see elf anymore just because I have used it a lot and then down here a lot is starting to kind of fade away right here because I tap my brush mainly right there because I seen that it was a spot that I could easily hit pan on just because um I have used this before and I always just dab my brush right there. So that is like the corner kind of area I'm starting to use to try to start trying to hit the pan. Then I have my Nivea Lip Butter and Rose Kiss. Um, I use this, try to use it every night before bed, but I, uh, for maybe like the past three, four nights I have not been using it but I have been using it a lot um, just so I could try to make some progress. The pan is completely like pan now and the only product I have is around the edges which I feel like I could hopefully finish using up in about three months so we can see about that. And the last item is my Maybelline Color Tattoo in Bad to the Bronze. I have made really good progress on this. You guys can see that there is a little tiny hit of pan. You guys can see straight in the middle. I have been using this a lot. Um, I use it every single day for this eye look I have been doing, like I told you guys earlier. But this is actually really creamy. It's such a beautiful shade. But I have so many kind of creamy bases that it's just, it needs to go. So this is my project pan update and next month there will be one at the end of that month even though there was two up this month I do apologize but like I said I was behind in videos oh, and I do want to just say something which I should have said at the beginning of the video but I did not if you guys are always wondering Megan why don't you ever wear your hair down in videos and why is your hair always in a bun I work in a place that I kind of work with around work and around food um so I have to wear my hair up so plain and simple that is the only reason why and the days I get to film is literally before I get to go to work so that is the reason why my hair is always up so please excuse that but I hope you guys enjoy my project pan update if you guys are new please subscribe if you guys like this please give this video a huge thumbs up because you guys it helps me so much and I will see you guys in the next video bye peace